my name is Yariv Dror and I'm the co-founder and CEO of um, Storia, um, storia.com. We founded Storia six years ago. Uh, we have uh, 15 tools uh, supporting 200,000 merchants, e-commerce merchants uh, from 186 countries uh, all, all over the world. Um, we're actually going to IRC next week, so if you're there, I'll be happy to, to meet, uh, meet you all. Oh, yeah, I'll um, see you there. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, uh, we're based in, uh, the, in, in Tel Aviv, Israel, uh, but we're taking the trip to Chicago to, uh, uh, to, 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 to see uh, all of you. See what's going on. Um, that's, a, yeah. that's a flight. How long is that flight? Ah, too long. <laughs> it, it's two. It's two flights, and it's uh, it's oh. at least uh, sixteen and a half hours uh, door to door. Um, yeah, I uh, hope it will be worth it. Uh, we did <laughs> yeah. uh, five years ago once, and uh, just uh, have enough friends to do it again. Oh uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so our, our flagship uh, um, app in the past two years is the Traffic Booster. And what it does, it, it, automat it automates Google AdWords, um, um, set up uh, real-time optimization and, and reporting. Um, and we actually only need the, the merchant's uh, uh, domain in order to use the full arsenal of uh, Google AdWords, uh, meaning search, dynamic search, dynamic remarketing, shopping, um, you, you name it, we automate it. Um, and, and we are uh, one of only 500 AdWords resellers worldwide. Uh, Google really likes what we, what we are doing. And uh, we work very closely with them. Um, and I thought of uh, 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 taking advantage of, of this spot here today and, and take, thank you for inviting <laughs> me uh, and, and share some insight on how any merchant can automate Google AdWords uh, on his own. Um, of course, uh, if someone uh, get the recipe today and wants us to cook, we will be happy to cook for him. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I will share the recipe as it is and, and as we uh, use it. Um, and not like family recipes when people uh, take one ingredient off, I, I will share everything. <laughs> um, and, and I hope that uh, it will be uh, uh, of uh, uh, useful uh, yeah. uh, for our listeners today. I see someone commenting if we are doing AdWords and or Facebook. We do both, but I I will uh, um, uh, share about uh, AdWords here today. We do have a Facebook ad solution as well. Yeah. So um, let's let's stick to AdWords. Let's backtrack um, real mm -hmm. quick. So you don't need access to the merchant's AdWords account. You just need their URL. Yeah. Uh, we actually um, generate an AdWords account from our end uh, because we have uh, API with Google and we have all the automations that we need. Um, so all of the API and scripts are running on our, um, we have an agency account, an MCC. Um, mm -hmm. So we just open a new account for each new uh, merchant. Um, and we, we we really don't need anything beyond the the, the domain. Um, we we just know how to to to, to set it up from our end. Uh, so in terms of the shopping ads, you don't need Merchant Center. I, I assume so. It's just crawling no, no, the for, site. For for um, shopping, we do need uh, um, ah, to okay. get uh, uh, either. Either uh, have the merchant sharing with us the, the merchant center or uh, allowing us to claim it, um, but that doesn't need any anything from the merchant. Uh, if if he doesn't have a merchant center, that's okay, uh, and and we will just uh, open one for him. We have an agency; it's called MCA, uh, the, the the merchant center for agencies. Um, so we can just open as many of these as, as we need. Um, normally, we, we just start with the domain 
uh, and and uh, and run search, run dynamic search, uh, and and uh, put shopping and and remarketing as a second phase. But we we can do do it anyhow. Um, what I thought to to discuss today is uh, uh, the dynamic search. Uh, mm -hmm. Dynamic search has really a lot of advantages uh, because uh, the traditional uh, Google AdWords search would require for you to come up with uh, keyword research and the ads and a landing page that is re uh, related to each ad or, or each group of ads. Um, and, and the, the DSA, the dynamic search ads, uh, really takes a, a lot of the burden from you and just let Google AdWords to do what Google does best, crawl through your uh, uh, site and mm -hmm. come up with the, the most relevant search terms and, and uh, direct the, the, each of the ads to the most relevant product page within your web store. Um, so it's really an amazing uh, uh, tool. Uh, I would urge anyone to, to try and use it, uh, but I, I will give a few pointers and, and a few disclaimers. So uh, first of all, who should use, who, who should use it? Um, if you only have one or two uh, products, uh, then it's not for you. Uh, the, the forte of this tool is if you have uh, at least um, 80 to 100 um, uh, index pages over Google so that Google has enough data on, on your web store and, and it can come up really with uh, relevant search terms. Uh, it's, it's an easy check for anyone. Just go to um, the URL bar and, and before your uh, domain, uh, type site columns and, and see if you get at least 80 uh, index pages. Um, so uh, that's one disclaimer. The other disclaimer is that it's, it's a very um, efficient tool, but it still uh, needs your optimization. If you only come up with a, a dynamic search ad because someone from Storia told you and, 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 and don't care about the optimization, then Google will just do what they want to do and that uh, and spread the largest uh, net of, of search terms that they can and, and spend your money. If you don't optimize it correctly, then, then it's gonna be a, 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 just a waste of money. Um, so it's an amazing tool, but I, I, I will walk you through in, in a few minutes uh, of, of uh, how to set it up correctly, optimize it correctly, and, and use its uh, reporting. Uh, yeah, so I'd love to hear how the how the user is, is required to, to manage it so that, you know, nothing crazy happens and they spend way too much. Because I've seen automation get really ugly yeah. really fast with someone who's, yeah. who's inexperienced. So tell me, how does it, how can you make sure that obviously something like that doesn't happen to a merchant? Yeah. Um, so first of all, the setup. Uh, you need to um, predefine to Google which parts of, of uh, your site you want to be uh, uh, directed with traffic. So if, if uh, on top of your web store you also have a blog, then you, you should consider uh, removing that part from uh, the DSA, from uh, Dynamic Search Ads. Uh, because obviously it, it's, it's, uh, it will be less converting and, and less uh, worth your money. Um, so just don't send paid traffic uh, towards your blog, or at least don't pay the same that you would have paid for uh, uh, traffic to your web store where, where you get conversions and orders. Mm -hmm. um, um, another thing, um, if, if you have... Um, part of uh, categories or, or collection within your web store that are um, for which you have a, a smaller uh, margin, then you can exclude those as well, or just include uh, the ones that are your best sellers and, and your best uh, margins. Uh, so you are uh, getting. Um, uh, so you are paying for something that is, is uh, efficient for you at the end. Um, 
And uh, next next uh, uh, step of, of the setup, um, uh, budget. You need to, to define um, either monthly or daily. We usually use a, a daily budget um, and, and see that you know, start small and ramp it, ramp it up uh, when, when you start seeing uh, conversion. Mm -hmm. It comes hand with hand uh, with the bids. And here we, we do a little trick that you can automate, automate from your end as well, uh, using a script, if you will, um, or, or just do it manually. What we do is, is we start with any bid, let's say $1, um, and we come the next day and see if we manage to uh, uh, spend the entire daily budget. Um, if we have, we decrease the, the bid by 10%. And if we haven't, we increase the bid by 10%. And we, we keep on doing it every day. Um, it's, it's easy if you use uh, script or, or API, but you can also do it manually. Um, and this way, um, we, we, uh, we, we find the balance, the, the most effective uh, uh, balance, the, the most effective bid um, for each specific uh, campaign. Of course, even when we find the balance, we continue doing it because the balance is temporarily. Uh, yeah. You have seasonality, you have um, um, uh, competition changing, everything is changing and, and the auction uh, goes on and, and you need to make sure that um, you are still ahead of the game. Um, so it's a very effective uh, method and, and we use it across the board with thousands of, of uh, AdWords accounts. Um, but you need to keep on doing it. Um, yeah. So that's, that's, that's for the bid. Uh, and other um, segments that you need to take into account when you, set, when you are setting it up, the, the DSA, um, uh, are the, the um, um, mobile, gender, and age, all the segments that you can look uh, in, into your uh, history, let's say your, your Google Analytics, and, and see how well your web store converts uh, on desktop versus uh, mobile. And if it converts uh, three times better in uh, desktop, then you, you should modify your bids uh, uh, accordingly and only uh, give one third of, of your bids to, to uh, mobile uh, uh, potential uh, customers. Um, so again, th this is something that you need to do in, in the setup phase. You should probably check it uh, um, back later on because maybe uh, you change stuff in, in your store. Maybe um, some of your products are, are um, uh, uh, more relevant for a specific uh, age or gender uh, if you change your inventory. Then this is something that you need to, uh, to keep on monitor and, and uh, come back uh, even after the setup is uh, is done. Yeah. Um, more stuff that you can do in, in the uh, setup phase um, is, is uh, day of the week and hour of the day. If you have, um, um, uh, you, you can check it out on your Google Analytics and, and, and define and set it up uh, accordingly on, on your AdWords. Um, so that's about the setup, and, and let's talk about optimization, which is my uh, uh, favorite part. Um, so uh, AdWords really, with, with the DSA, AdWords really uh, took a lot of the burden off our shoulders. Um, but it, it, uh, as I mentioned, it, it, it does force you to uh, be very strict with your uh, optimization. Otherwise, the, the large net of, of search terms uh, is just going to eat your budget and, and it's not going to be effective. Um, so the way that you optimize uh, DSA, dynamic search art, is by excluding the, uh, some of the search terms. Uh, so AdWords will start with the largest net that they can and, and you will need to um, uh, remove uh, some of them. Um, so the way that you start, you don't have conversion at the beginning, so the way that you, you should uh, start, and this is what we do, 
is according to uh, click-through rate. Uh, if, if you got impression to certain uh, search terms and they didn't get any clicks, uh, so from the one hand you can say, okay, I, I didn't pay for them, what do I care? Um, but you need to care uh, because AdWords will care. If you get a lot of impressions and no clicks, then you are not paying, but in the long run, AdWords will make you pay. It's either going to uh, increase your cost per click when you do get clicks, or it's just going to uh, not uh, expose you. Um, so you need to remove, uh, let's say, any uh, search terms that got uh, 200 impression and, and no clicks. Uh, just give up on that one. And uh, the, there is another benefit of, of excluding uh, such uh, search terms, and that is you are actually making room for um, uh, for Google AdWords to come up with other search terms instead of the search terms that didn't work for you, and mm -hmm. um, and and maybe that search term will work better. Um, so that's the the beginning of optimization using uh, CTR click through rate. Um, the next stage is is uh, hopefully when you, when you start getting uh, conversions, um, then you should definitely uh, uh, start um, optimizing according the, to the conversion. If if uh, a search term is getting more and more uh, clicks and cost and is not effective in terms of uh, revenues on uh, ad spend, then uh, start excluding uh, such uh, search terms as well. Um, and <laughs> that and, notes. And next, <laughs> next, yeah, of course. <laughs> English is not my first language. I I need to uh, to be ready. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's that's for uh, 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 optimization. Uh, reporting, uh, last but not least, uh, we see 80% um, of the merchants uh, lacking the, the uh, useful reporting uh, using Google Analytics. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that is relatively easy to, to do and you only need to do it once, but people are not doing it at all. <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm referring to, to large uh, merchants as well. Um, and, and what we see is that they don't um, uh, filter out their own domain and their own getaway um, um, uh, uh, services like PayPal or, or whatever they're uh, using. Mm -hmm. and, and then when, when we try to optimize according to the Google Analytics, we just don't know which uh, channel of traffic uh, converted because PayPal is written as a channel of traffic where it's obviously just a getaway service and, and yeah. not a channel of traffic. Um, so it's relatively easy, but it, it needs to be done. Uh, and uh, again, we, we see just plenty of, of merchants not doing it at all. Um, and obviously <laughs> you, you can optimize without, without proper uh, reporting. So. It's very important to, to do it. Um, so that's, that's, that's our recipe for uh, Google, uh, uh, DSA, uh, Dynamic Search Ads. Um, we have actually automated all of this. So if, if someone doesn't wish to uh, go through all the steps and, and repeat it, repeat uh, keep on uh, um, monitoring and optimizing them. We are happy to, uh, to, to serve you with it, with our traffic booster. Um, we also have another uh, app that we recently launched. It's, uh, it's called uh, Benchmark Hero, and it's a free app that actually uh, uh, crawls through your uh, web store and, and compare it to seven and eight figures store that uh, and and let and let you know what uh, uh, action items you you can do from your end in order to uh, to, to get your store to, to perform better in terms of uh, um, technical marketing shopping experience um, uh, we we just compared 
around 20 um, uh, sections of, of the store. Um, and, and we just give an output of, of this is what you can do in order to improve uh, um, the shopping experience and, and, and the conversions and everything. Um, so I invite everyone to, to use that as well. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, that was awesome. It was like a whole walkthrough. It was great. <laughs> um, so thank you for doing this with us. Why don't you close out, let everyone know where they can find you, Storia, everything about how they can sign up and all that fun stuff. And let's, uh, let's hear sure. that. Uh, so <laughs> it's storia.com. Uh, and uh, I urge you to try out the, the Traffic Booster and uh, Benchmark Hero, uh, two of our apps. And, in, and if you are in uh, Chicago next week, I, I love to meet uh, each and every one of you. Uh, uh, am, I, I see comments here. What amount do you recommend for a new store? Um, I, I normally go uh, according to what the the, um, the the cost per acquisition is is worth for uh, for the merchant. Let's say that uh, um, uh, an average order is uh, one hundred dollars, and I I would uh, uh, try and and spend not more than two hundred dollars and and see at least one conversion, so that I know that I'm. Uh, on the the right uh, uh, direction, um, we start with as low as as one hundred and twenty dollars a month uh, for advertising budget, just to 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 uh, show the initial uh, return on ad spend, and from there the merchant on his own time can extend the advertising budget uh, once the ROI is uh, is positive. Perfect. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Thank you. We're going to leave this up on Facebook. We'll put it over on YouTube. It'll be out there cool. forever. Uh, so thank <laughs> you so much. Enjoy your night and have a good one. And I'll see you next week at IRC. All right. Great. Have see a good you. one. Bye. Bye-bye.